Good afternoon, Ms. Fisher. Um, I would like to personally thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule to talk to us regarding smoking cessation. We're basically going to go through a few questions that will help both of us get a better understanding about your current smoking status. Um, and I'm going to just take some notes here as we continue to talk, okay? Um, first of all, um, how long has you, have you been smoking and at what age did you begin smoking? I think I was 17, 37 now, so about 20 years. 20 years, okay. Okay, and, and in those 20 years, had, did you ever try to quit? Yeah, I tried once when I was pregnant, um, but it just didn't work. Okay. Um, I don't even know why I'm here. It's okay. not worth even the time, to be honest. Okay, well, that's fine. I mean, well, you definitely deserve some applause for, you know, your willingness to quit. Um, I mean, as you know, smoking is a very difficult habit to quit, especially for a time of period like 20 years. Um, so what were your reasons behind wanting to quit in those previous attempts? Well, really, it was only one main time, and it was right before, or right when I got pregnant. The doctor kept nagging me, my mom kept nagging me, and they just mm -hmm. kept saying how bad it was for my baby. And finally, I just got tired of fighting the battle, and okay. I quit. Okay. Okay. Then, and then, uh, what did your physician tell you about more of the specific dangers um, in continuing to smoke? He really didn't say anything; just said it was bad. He just he just said it was bad. Okay, uh, so if I understand you correctly, Ms. Fisher, um, you're saying that you have been smoking for 20 years um, with several attempts to quit in the past, but ultimately no long-term success, okay? Uh, both your mother and other family members, along with your physician, have told you several times um, that you need to quit, but uh, neither of those individuals ever went into the overall specifics about the actual dangers of uh, wanting to quit smoking. Is that, does that sound about right? Yeah, pretty much. Okay, okay. So uh, let's kind of take it one step forward. Um, in those attempts to quit in the past, uh, what was it that, you know, made you uh, start back smoking again? Well, I needed it to get through the day. I mean, it calms my nerves. Um, I crave it. I don't know if you have kids, but they're stressful. Stressful. Okay. And I just can't make it without one. Okay. Okay, then. Uh, well, that's that's quite all right, Miss Fisher. I mean, we have... We have uh, a multitude of patients that mention those particular reasons specifically right there also. Um, you know, as you know, I mean, uh, but I would say that we've had also great successes working with those patients and ultimately getting them to, to quit smoking. So there's, there isn't any lost hope with that. Um, so uh, let's, let's, let's move into talking about your reasons for wanting to quit um, should, you, should you decide to do so. What would be those reasons for wanting to quit if you decided to, to do so? Well, I still think it's a lost cause, but I'm not sure, I guess. I mean, on TV it says it's bad for your health. My doctor says it's bad for my health. My mom says it's bad for my health, so I guess it's bad for my health. But I've smoked for so long, I don't notice anything. Smoke to me, smoke. it's what gets me through my day. Okay, then. I'll get you through the day. Okay. Well, well, tell me this. What was the longest period of time that you were able to quit in the past, you know, since you mentioned the previous quit attempts? It's the pregnancy, so about nine months or so. I started back pretty much day one after my baby was born. Okay, wow, you were able to quit for nine months? That's a that's a that's a pretty big accomplishment, Miss Fisher. Um, if you think about it, that's pretty much close to a in, close to an entire year. Um, you know, do you does that make sense that that's a pretty long period of time? You know, one whole year, pretty I much. I guess I didn't think about it. Okay. I mean, and I can, yeah. and I, I believe it's safe to say that was a pretty tough decision, considering the fact that you've been smoking for twenty years, right? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so, basically, the fact that you were willing to take it upon yourself in the meantime to quit while you were pregnant—that that speaks volumes of you, you know. Um, so, uh, that would that would basically lead into my next question, and into asking you um, what would have been the worst thing that could have happened uh, to you um, if you had quit smoke, if you had started to quit smoking for good after your pregnancy. there's nothing bad. Nothing bad, okay. Yeah. Okay, well, I mean, in my opinion, I believe you're, you're exactly right, you know. Um, as you well know, I mean, the, the, the journey to quitting smoking is very difficult, um, but if you think about it, you yourself, you were able to quit for almost a year. You know, you were able to quit for uh, nine months. So uh, just as you were able to quit during your pregnancy for the sake of your kids, you know, you can use that same sort of energy to uh, want to have the desire to quit for the sake of your own health, in order to see your kids grow up to be, you know, healthy individuals also. Okay, um, and that's and, that, and that's really something to uh, think about. 
So I guess my, my next question for you, Ms. Fisher, would be more like a scenario question. So if you can kind of roll with me on that. On, on the scale of 1 to 10, um, how important is it for you to uh, consider thinking about quitting smoking sooner rather than later? With 1 being not important at all or 10 being the utmost and most important? Maybe a five. A five, okay. Well, well, why a five and not a three or a four? Well, I mean, I guess he pointed out I did it for nine months, cold turkey, so maybe I could do it again, but for longer and this time for my health and not for my babies. Okay, all right. And that's a, and that's a great point that you bring out to me, Ms. Fisher. Um, I believe this gives us some, some great foundation, you know, should we decide to move forward with this? Uh, to, uh, with the smoking cessation, um, if it's okay with you, I would really like to schedule another interview with you or another appointment with you where we can actually sit down and go into further detail about about these other barriers that people face when they're when they're smoking, and also uh, share with you some of the great benefits that uh, that can come of uh, quitting smoking. Um, would that be something that you would be interested in? I guess so. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, that would be great. I mean, I would like to uh, thank you again for coming by. Um, and we can schedule it, uh, you an appointment for, I would, get, I would say, in about one week. Uh, does that work for you? Yeah, anytime, I'm free. Okay. And uh, in the meantime, I would like to kind of hand you this tobacco log right here. Uh, this, isn't a, this isn't an attempt to help you quit. Uh, rather, it would help us identify some specific triggers and identify triggers that you may face along the road to quitting smoking, okay? Okay. All right, well, thank you very much, and you have a good rest of the day, okay? Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you. Okay.